We are Dean and Jenny Barons. Yeah, I'm Jenny. <laughs> I'll try that. I'll try that again. I'm Dean. Hi, I'm Jenny Barons. Our daughter was born in 2009, and she was maybe a year old when we decided to try to grow our family. And then two years later and three years later, um, still struggling with uh, secondary infertility. And so um, rather than try a lot of medical, different medical routes, we really felt like, well, maybe we should explore adoption first. We crack up at Winston probably mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. night at dinner. He'll make all three of us mm -hmm. just yeah. giggle to the point of tears because he, he and Joanna will just make each other laugh. Mm -hmm. and he's such a joy. Now that he is so much more active, he's crawling everywhere and pulling up on everything and has strong opinions <laughs> about what he likes and does not like. He's a very happy baby. He smiles constantly and giggles and laughs himself. And he's loud. He's, yeah. he's a very loud baby. <laughs> Our birth mother, actually, when she found out she was pregnant and she had very little support and she was very much in crisis, set up an appointment for an abortion. She felt like she didn't have any options, um, but instead of going to that appointment, she decided instead to go to Advice and Aid. And she found such great support and love there mm -hmm. um, that it changed her whole perspective. Um, it was only maybe three months after we, uh, Winston was brought into our family that I found myself sitting across from a family who was in a crisis of their own, telling me about their teenage pregnancy. If I had not had any experience with the advice and aid, I don't know what I would have said to them. I was so uh, grateful to just be able to recommend them wholeheartedly um, to go to Advice and Aid and to get support and help from the people there. And it kind of, this whole story came full circle when um, I got a call from our birth mom saying that she was actually uh, counseling this young couple that I had referred from my church. And so we got to see um, this blessing uh, uh, that, that we experienced multiply and continue uh, both for our birth mother and for this new young couple who is in great need of their own. I'm so grateful to Advice and Aid. I don't know where, not only our family, but our birth mom and her family, I just don't know where we would all be without Advice and Aid and the role that they played, the way that they um, intervened and supported um, our, our birth mother throughout her pregnancy. Yeah, it could have gone a few different ways, but the story mm -hmm. could have just stopped. And it didn't. Because she went to Advice and Aid, the story is just continuing, and it's been really beautiful to watch it all unfold. I think, for me, the thing I would want him to know, but I think he'll always know because of these open relationships, is that you were so loved on both sides. You know, from our family whining and waiting for you, but also um, from your birth mom and your birth father's family. They both. Um, made this decision because they felt like this was the, the best thing for you and, and we all still love you. <laughs>